Hi, Mr. Vanskoy here again. In this video, we're going to talk about variables. We have written variables before, but you are welcome and encouraged to view that experiment design presentation again if you need uh, more help or for you're unsure how to continue. You can use this link right here um, in this document or check out the Science Fair 101 lesson in Moodle. Remember that there are two types of variables. There is the independent variable. That's the thing that you, the scientist, are going to change. So maybe you're going to uh, increase the temperature with each trial. Or maybe you're going to increase the amount of a chemical. Maybe you're going to increase the amount of, say, vinegar. Those would be the independent variables. And second type is the dependent variable. You call that the results or the thing that you're looking for in your experiment, maybe the thing that you're testing. Both of those need to be included in your variables section of your report and your board. Uh, you should also define any words in the hypothesis or question that are unclear if needed. Uh, those would be called operational definitions. So if you're using words that are kind of vague, like the best or um, something like that, you know, if it improves, well, what do you mean by improves? You would want to define that as an operational definition. Instructions, label a page or page section in your science notebook with the correct heading, in this case, variables. Write your variables in the science notebook. Leave a couple of lines below it for comments and revision. Write your operational definitions if needed. Optional. You can type the required information into a document and submit it online to the correct Moodle assignment, Science Fair 124.